Hey and welcome to the Shave Tank and another part of our Soap Commander series. And today's shave uh, will be another special shave in the Soap Commander series. We had the Sincerely shave last time and today will be a special shave because I got a letter from the Soap Commander HQ and Kerry wrote me some very nice words here and along with it she sent a few aftershave balm samples and we'll try that today after the shave and because I happen to have gained a lot of respect for Carrie and all the people at Soap Commander we are going to shave with respect today, not only with the balm, but also with the soap, which I also got a nice sample here. So, of course, the soap comes first, and of course, first, first we will give it a whiff. Hmm. Again, something totally different. It has some earthiness, I would say it's almost like some earthy, grassy tone with patchouli in there, I think, I think. But also some fresh tone, which may be maybe lime or citrus. But a very down to the ground tone. Not as strong as some of their other scents, but still in the strong section. So, uh, for Soap Commander, it's not the strongest Soap Commander scent, but uh, also kind of a complex mix, I think. And the dilemma for me is going on because I think I have to order all of the soaps at one point. Thank God I will be in the US uh, beginning of next year and I booked a flight already with where I can have two suitcases going back and I guess one suitcase will be full of soaps and as it looks a lot of soap commander soaps <laughs> and possibly aftershave pounds we'll see how today aftershave yeah but let's get on with the shave so for laddering up we'll go to use the plisson as most of the times people have been asking do you only have prisons? no I have my Nathan Clark I also have some, some silver tips and badger brushes but I just love the prison and the Nathan Clark the Nathan Clark is awesome but I cannot use it every day we used it uh, sincerely to shave yeah. so here we go Yeah, that looks very good. As always, let us up really nicely. And to lettering up, yeah, definitely lime. The lime smell comes out really nicely. It's awesome how this uh, soaps really nicely uh, work the scent up when you leather them. I really like that. Because when you have them on your face, uh, you really smell really really nice like this I could just eat you up thing so beware if your better half comes into the bathroom while you're shaving with soap commander she might bite you <laughs> Yeah, awesome leather here again. Really, really nice. Look at that. And with the face. Yeah. Awesome leather. Yes, we are used to 
and now with the soap commander. And today we are going back to DE and use the Phoenix double open cope because I still have the kitty scratch here. I don't want to risk anything. I will shave a little bit quicker today so that we can also get to the palm because I can already feel that the soap is as excellent as the other soap commanders. And I have been asked those shaving videos are you doing them in the morning or in the evening? Depends actually and today it's in the evening in Austria so if you're in the US it's still in the morning while I'm shooting this but on YouTube it won't matter Excellent, excellent first pass, no problems here. Of course the Phoenix is a really awesome efficient razor. Wet the face for the second pass. The lime really does come out but the grassy stones or earthy, more like it. Yeah, would rather say more earthy tones. Stay there. Really like that. Respect. A really nice tone and scent again. I really like that all these scents that I tested so far, while some of them may have taken a take or so on a classic, they are still their own scents. They are not carbon copies of old scent of Classic sense. They each have their own take on the classic. And that's really nice because, unlike some other folks who always are supposed they want another Fouché scent from this and that soap maker or another Old Spice scent and yeah, in the direction of that sense, yeah, but I really want a soap maker to make their own interpretation, not just a carbon copy of an old scent or something like that. And Soap Commander does this really, really nicely for me. And that's very good. And third pass. So today, high speed shaving? No, not high speed. Well, compared to the straight shave last time, yes. But as you probably noticed, not my straight shaving, not yet my master dominion. It was maybe my 20th or so, 10, uh, 20th straight shave. And yeah. 
so a lot more confident with the these. But I'm getting there. And also someone asked, will you totally switch to straight shaving like some other YouTube shavers? No. I will go on the e-shaving. I enjoy straight shaving, but I won't switch completely. For me, both variants of wet shaving, mm, the smell is awesome, really have their own uh, yeah, fascination to it. And yeah, I really enjoy the straight shaves also, but I also really like my DE shaves. Yes, perfect. Third pass here. Very nice protection wise. Very nice all around. And of course, before any aftershave palm, we are going to use the Austrian Mountain Water. Really, really cold. <sighs> Excellent. So the ingredient section of this video got a little bit cut up on the camera. I don't know what happened. We had a little uh, hook up here. So again, uh, the ingredients of the aftershave palm and my take on it. Um, what do we have? We have aloe vera, awesome for your skin, really, really nicely. It's now uh, already uh, uh, about 30 minutes after the shave, my skin feels really, really nice. Um, there is distilled water, avocado oil, which is also awesome for your skin. I have not seen that used a lot in, in, in any aftershave palms, but this works really, really well. Then we have a sweet almond oil, also extremely nice for your skin. Then there is uh, emulsifying wax, which is awesome to make this creamy emulsion aftershave palm feel to the whole thing. Uh, several alcohols, which is really cool for this. Uh, sodium lactate, which is okay. Fragrance, shea butter, uh, menthol, which, which gives this nice, nice cooling effect. Awesome. Um, the menthol is just right. It's not as uh, strong as in Barazzo Green, but it's a nice cool kick which I like, uh, glycol and uh, yodopropenyl butyl carbonate. Now, this is a matter of discussion because uh, some chemists say this is okay and it's a great uh, anti-fungative so it, it, that the uh, balm does not get bad. Uh, and some other chemists say that uh, this actually might be bad for your skin. Uh, I would not say toxic, but uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it, it's actually not as, as good if you inhale it, but you don't inhale it because uh, don't worry what you inhale when you put on a balm is uh, uh, is the fragrance and not uh, the compounds that are bound into the balm. So. Uh, no worries there if you read on Wikipedia or somewhere that inhaling it is bad, you won't inhale it from the aftershave palm. But uh, some say it's okay for the skin and a lot of uh, uh, also big cosmetic brands uh, use it. And uh, some others say no, don't use it. So, uh, yeah. I put it on my skin 
uh, I'm game uh, with it, uh, but it is a matter of discussion, as I said. So, uh, thanks again, and we'll continue with the normal video now. <laughs> thanks a lot. Feels nice already in the hand. Mm, smells like respect. Really nice, with a very slightly mentholated touch to it. Yeah, as you can see, I used a little bit too much because I put the whole sample in my hand. Just probably a little bit too much, but feels awesome on the skin. Even though there is alcohol in there and I have my kitty cut here from the from Miss Kitty. No burning sensation. Just a very fresh mental sensation. Not as extreme as the Porazo Green for example, but it has a nice mental kick to it. Which is awesomely refreshing in the summer. But I think I also got a sample of a non mentholated soap, so we'll also try that in a later video. Ah, it's not soap, shaving balm. And yeah. And it already has this very, very cool silk sensation that you get with avocado and almond. And yeah. I really like this aftershave balm, I have to say. Feels really, really good. And we will follow up this aftershave review uh, when we do the next video in our, in our Soap Commander series. Because I will then tell you how this whole thing feels after 24 hours. <laughs> and But so far, really nice. Really, really nice. So let's give our final verdict on the respect. Soap, can't say much, it's Soap Commander, awesome. The scent, I really like it. I like that this, this, it has this earthy note with, with lime. I like soaps that have lime in them. In them. Uh, really a nice take on this scent and this in the aftershave balm. Really nice cooling sensation from the menthol and really silky. The smell also stays with you. It's not like this some aftershave palms that you put on and the smell vanishes immediately. So I think this will stay a little bit. We'll see after a few hours. But I will report back next time. But so far, thumbs up for Soap Commander again. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. That's all. High five! Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Cope Soap Commander, for the sample. And I see you next time.